Barara is a city in the western region of Uganda, also popularly known as the land of milk and the true food haven for the country. The city is the main commercial center of most of the southwestern districts of Uganda and in May 2019, the Uganda's cabinet granted Mbarara a city status which started on 1st July 2020. Since then, the city has experienced rapid growth and developments like the impressive $210 million Northern Bypass Road, which has helped to decongest the city center by taking the long-distance tracks destined for and coming from Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo off the streets of Barara. So join me as I explore the vibrant streets of this city and please get ready to be amazed because Mbarara is about to take your breath away. So apparently I'm in the tax park. The, the other one on the other side is a bus park. This one is the tax park. I'm seeing there are a lot of taxis, a lot of matatus and also Toyota wishes. So let's walk out of this tax park and we go uptown Mbarara. I want to start my vlog at, uh, at the monument, that uh, monument with cows, yeah, so let's go, let me also try to call my friend and see whether he's around town, a fellow YouTuber in Ambarara, let me call him and see whether he's around town and uh, we see what we can do together, okay. So I'm giving him a call right now and see. Oh, I'm seeing the Mbarara Central Market is over here, guys. Wow. I think he's busy. You know he's a medical doctor. He must be in the hospital right now. But I remember talking to him, he told me that when I arrive in town, I let him know, I notify him, so he can help me. I'm not conversant with the city, <laughs> but let me first explore this other part, as we are calling him. Well, he's not picking, but uh, let's continue with our vlog. Mbarara city looking so beautiful guys This is Mbarara City the land of milk and honey Though I expected Mbarara to be a bit more developed than this Honestly speaking I thought this area would be more developed At least coming next to Kampala And it's one of the main cities in Uganda I think it comes third or fourth the first one is uh, Kampala, we have Jinja, we have Gulu, and then I think Mara is the fourth biggest and busiest city in Uganda. Hello, Mujabali. Yes. Kundi. Chine chibumbe chente chibitawa. Maembe kete. Maembe kete. Maembe kete. Okay, okay, All right, so can we do? Guys, there is a lot of music here. Let me pray, don't get a copyright strike in my videos. So, this is an Indian temple. 
This building in Krim is an Indian temple. Okay. Over there for Indians. That means there is a big presence of Indians in Imbarara. If you see an Indian temple around, it's called Shiri Hindu Manda Mbarara. So right now we are walking down. I want to start the vlog at the... Uh... <laughs> the vlog is already started, but I want us to start at the, the monument, the cow monument. You know, the people in this area have a strong connection with their cows. Looks like I'm, I'm uptown because I'm seeing all these trucks. The busiest part of, of the city because I'm seeing these trucks around these ones. These ones usually ferry goods, are building materials, and that is usually found downtown of every city. Amayembe Gente. Boss, Jebal. Jebal. Kali. Amayembe Gente, Galiwa. Let's continue here. No, it's not very far. I think this poster. Can you take me there? Yeah, oh, you are so busy. Ah, yeah, I'm not busy. Okay, please take me around. I'm a YouTuber. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a YouTuber. From where? I've come from Kampala. Oh, My channel is called UG Connect. Aha. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Fidel. Fidel. Hey, yeah. Fidel. Nice meeting yeah, you. Thank you, man. You know Fidel Castro? Yeah, from Congo. <laughs> yeah? You're from Congo? Yeah. I'm oh, be quiet. Be quiet, my brother. How are you doing? Very fine. You're doing very fine. Yeah. How do you find Uganda? Uh, Uganda is a country which is very nice, mm. peaceful. Yeah. I like it. You like it? Yeah. How long have you been here? Eleven years, I think. Eleven years? Yeah. That's a long time, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, guys, so you see, Fidel, he has been kind enough to take me around. Imagine I've just met him. He's a stranger. We don't know each other. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yeah, but he has accepted to take me around. So right now he's taking me to the... What is that monument it. called? Actually, I don't know. Mm. I've not been the here. official name of the... Yeah, of, of, the, of that monument. Actually, I've not been here for so long, so I'm mm. um, ever up and down from oh. Congo to here. Okay. Do you speak some Runyankore? I'm in Jezab. But you look like a Runyankore. I mean, I'm not a Runyankore. You're from which tribe in Congo? I'm from Banyamulenge. Eh, hey, Banyamulenge. Yeah. yeah, Banyamulenge. I'm more like Banyarwanda. Yeah, same. You almost speak the same language. Somehow, but there's a big difference. Okay. Yeah, yeah you know, Ndavga Buhoro Buhoro, Kinyagwanda. Ndavga Buhoro Buhoro. So, thank you so much. Okay. All right. All right, he's gone. Uh, good thing he has brought me here. So let me explore the Amayembe Gente. Okay, guys. Let's go to somewhere else. city Uganda looking fly so this street which I'm going to take is called High Street DMC on the road it's bringing a lot of fumes so this one is called High Street so let's walk on High Street, and that's how the monument looks like. The Amahembe Gente. You can see this one in the middle, it looks like a cow's head. Let me take a quick picture. All right. Guys, tell me what you think about Tumbara. How the city looks like. Huh? Wangi, mami? Ente? Hey. Ninjukunda. She was telling, asking me why I'm taking a picture of the cow. 
and I was trying to reply I almost beat my tongue <laughs> I wanted to say that's a mixture of Rutoro and Runyankore <laughs> No. I'm surprised it's not cold here. I thought it would be cold because in the morning in Kampala it was so cold. When I came here uh, on my journey to Mbara, it was very cold in the morning and I was for my wife told me to get a sweater, but I was like no. Let me go, of course the sweater was too bulky. It was too big and it was occupying almost the whole bag. And I, don't, I didn't want to carry a lot of things in the bag. Yeah, but as you can see, it is shining bright here. It's a bit hot. It's a bit hotter than Kampala. I think Ibarra is on a higher elevation than Kampala. So. People are looking at me confused. <laughs> Most of them are confused. They are like, what is this guy up to? I think they don't have many YouTubers here. So we are still on High Street, guys. It's a nice building over here. And this is where we are coming from. No, I'm just walking around. What yeah. <laughs> about wondering what I'm doing? He's asking, what am I doing here? street Mbarara. guys leave your thoughts about this in the comment section and tell me whether you're enjoying it Actually, I think I should make a video about car prices in Imbarara. I'm sure our prices are, are much different from Kampala. There is a big difference. So I'll look for a car bond around here. Foreign news and brand new cars in Imbarara. Guys, is that something you would enjoy watching? Let me know in the comment section. This is 
software ne mu hardware jangu wano tukanikire esimu yo machi ni ba Should I proceed or go this side? Let me first proceed guys on this street. Man, it is very very hot. I'm surprised. Very hot. Maybe it's going to rain later in the day. Yeah, what's up, bro? I'm fine. Are you still at work? Yes. Me, I'm already in your city. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already here and I'm already vlogging. <laughs> eh? Okay, okay, let me know when you're done, eh? Okay, okay, bye bye. Yeah, so the doctor has just called me. He's having just a few minutes to get done with his shift and then he joins me. So this is post office Mbara. Poster Mbara. Then we receive their parcels from luggages, later, letters. This is one of the shopping malls here. Right, 
Central Market. Let's try to go around the market, the newly constructed market in Mbarara City. Mbarara Central Market. This is the market looking very nice. Barra is surrounded by beautiful hills. I can see beautiful hills in the background there. I don't even know the name of the street where I'm walking right now. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. He's asking me to interview him. big mall here looks new as well I think this is where we started our vlog from
another big building being constructed around there with those blue uh, what is that? Matundu Valley. What is a Matundu Valley in English? <laughs> with those blue Matundu Valley, that building. So let's go back on the side of the central market. Hopefully we shall be able to go through. Here is the market, Barra Central Market. I think we shall go in the market with my friend who is coming to join me. to cross okay let's go another beautiful building here one is called Utahigualen. <laughs> Utahigualen. Yeah. Yeah. Utahigualen.
so looks like this is the side of hotels most hotels are this side and it's a bit more quiet more calm than uptown where we've come from Westland Hotel This is Westland Hotel Guys, I'm tired. <sighs> it is super hot. I didn't know Barara could be this hot. I think I should avoid this area as well because I'm seeing a lot of uh, soldiers. Behind me, there, there are a lot of soldiers standing around. So I think. Let me continue to this other side. Another bus. So these are pancakes. Yes, yes, These ones are too small. Where can I buy water? Down here. Eh? Like one bottle. One, one. Okay, thank you. So, let me get a bottle of water to quench my thirst because we need to proceed with the vlog. Hello, where do I pay? Mm. Okay. Is it always hot like this in Mbara? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. It's it's always hot like this. Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought Mbara is cooler than Kampala. No, it's not cooler than Kampala. Okay. How often do you go to Kampala? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> First relax let me first take some water and then we proceed where does this road go this road this one eh? where does it go oh. Shema. Okay. so we are proceeding with our vlog come and tell us what are the most interesting things in Mbarara? Hmm. Interesting things people can come and see. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? You're not from here? Yeah. Where do you come from? From Shema. Shema? Yeah. Shema is how many kilometers from around here? Like, like 
15. 15? Eh? Okay. Okay, what's good in Shema? Shema. Mm. There is Matoke. Uh huh. Uh, Oburo. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is what is Oburo in English? Akalo, millet. Millet, yes, yes. millet. Uh -huh. Millet. Only that. Yeah. And then milk. You guys have a lot of cows. Yeah, we have cows. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to milk cows? Yeah, I know. Okay. When did you learn that? Uh, or from your childhood? From a, from they, they taught you at, at home. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you so much. What is your name? Karunji. Karunji. Oh, you're Karunji? Yeah. My wife is called Karunji. Uh, yeah, I know me. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. My wife is called Karunji. Hey. Okay. Karunji Josephine. I'm good. Karunji Adrian. Hey, Karunji Adrian, nice meeting you. Nishemeruro okay. Kurora. Okureba. Okay, okay. Bye. Nice time. Okay, nice time. Thank you. Okay. Ah. So I've been told this road goes up to up to the side of Kabale. Tungamo, Bushenyi, Shema, and then Kabale. So let's walk. I can see it is looking beautiful here. Let's go and explore this other side of Mara as well. This is downtown Mara. Downtown Mara. This looks like a, a park or a leisure park where people come and relax. I think we are going to walk through as well. I take you through the leisure park. So this is a sculpture representing the Banyankore culture. Uh, they are farmers as you can see in this region. They are farmers and uh, they look after cows as well. He's holding a, a calabash of milk is it called a calabash a vianzi a viamata and a spear maybe a stick which he uses to look after cattle and then we can see a drum here that's a drum and uh, these are this is the head of the cow here there you can see it says okay so these are the calabashes going around the drum in this one they store milk and also they make ghee from there this one stores millet a cattle this is a pounding i think this one is used to be to, to, to pound yeah it's a motor this one they store milk this one looks like a skull of a certain animal i'm not sure yeah so, so if you know if you're Myan korean you know what those if you're Myankore and you know what everything there represents or symbolizes in your culture, kindly let us know in the comment section down below. But meanwhile, let's go through the park, the leisure park, and we explore it. Apparently, we are close to the state council offices, they are around there. The city council, Mara city council offices are around there. So let's go in the park. Hello. This is how the park looks like. You can see it's quite big, though it's not that green as it is supposed to be. Most areas. Um, the land, the, the, the soil is exposed. I think there is some kind of mishandling. People stepping on the grass before it is ready to be used. There are some nice flowers around here. This is the leisure park. There are border borders on that side. 
trees many trees down there and the grass is green down there So I think they are going to be placing a monument here on top of this platform. It's called the In Honor of Revolutionary Matters. I think they would have said In Honor of the Revolutionary Matters. This statue was erected by the Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF, in recognition of the patriotic freedom fighters of revolutionary struggle for democratic for democracy and socio-economic muharabu and many others were publicly executed for supporting the struggle of the 1970s and 80s basically it's about the updf the uganda people's defense force and their contribution to the struggle of fighting hence the president ruling right now. President Yoweri have become seven. I don't want to speak so much of politics on this channel because I can see every time we feature up, up anything political here, the, the comment section goes on fire. <laughs> Oh, this is a church. Should be an Anglican church. kids are practicing for band